squeaky chair, squeaky chair. Sup guys, it's John here from tech7.net and check it out behind me. Yes, that is the N900 phonage guy. I said I would spice things up for 2010. <laughs> Such fail. We have reached over 1,000 subscribers. Yeah! Big, big thank you to all you guys who subscribed and like our videos. Thank you so much. I mean, it's from the heart and I want to thank... As you know, CES 2010 is happening. CES Consumer Electronic Show 20. One, zero. There has been a lot of news and videos all over the interweb of all these brand new tech toys. So for this episode, we're going to cover all of that. It'll just be like you were there. Uh, not really, no. Peanut butter jelly time! Starting off this episode won't be the Nexus One. Mm-mm, no sir. But it will be an Android phone, and it is a Motorola Backflip. It is one of Moto's newest upcoming smartphones, which has a new Moto Blur incorporated. Moto Blur, first introduced with the Motorola Click or Dex, is essentially a series of home screen widgets that makes social networking easier. Something interesting on the Backflip would be the hinge that lets it, well, backflip. Get it? Ah, ah. Fine! Another interesting but rather useless feature would be the trackpad, which allows you to perform functions like browse the web without touching the screen. For some reason, I feel dirty doing this action. As always, Boy Genius Reports gets their hands on the latest toys, including the backflip. Check out their site for a gallery of pics. Palm introduces the new Palm Pre Plus and the new Palm Pixie Plus. Here you see the Pre Plus in action. It essentially looks like the original Palm Pre, but it has new added features. It now incorporates video recording at the tap of the screen. Not only can you record videos, but now you can even edit those videos on the fly. And you can upload them to YouTube. I don't know why, but this sort of sounds a little bit familiar. Dun 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 dun. Oh yeah. Palm also demoed some games on the Pre Plus, including Need for Speed, which looks really cool and is controlled with a built-in accelerometer. Nokia makes an appearance at CES 2010 as well, sorta. They've uploaded a cool behind-the-scenes video, where they show their booth and area before everything is set up. It looks like they were a bit late setting up their stuff. So Nokia is a little late for CES. And the mobile smartphone market. Oh no, I went there! What? They're suing Apple. Multiple times! That's all I need to say. LG introduces the new GW990, a new Moblin powered smartphone. Moblin is a new Linux based operating system. Now it looks like Nokia and Mamo have some competition from the Linux users. Kinda looks like the LG New Chocolate. The GW990 is very long. That's what she said! Maybe a bit too long. The GW990 is powered by not a Snapdragon CPU, but an Intel Morristown CPU with a 4.8 inch panoramic widescreen display, HD video, a huge 1850 milliamp powered battery, 5 megapixel camera, and all that good stuff. Warning, the following may contain some hout content. Divert your eyes, children! Ed Hardy sets up a little exhibit in CES, supposedly promoting some new Blackberry cases. The guys at Crackberry happily explored this little place. Cool designs, yes. Some cases that I'll probably never use. Girls, porn music minus the wall pedal. That's all I need to say. Links for the full video on the side. Oh, good, good stuff. Slate, 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 slate. Slates everywhere. Why do they call them slates? Apparently Dell has hopped on the slates train with Apple and have introduced their own tablet slash slate slash phone thing at CES. And no, that's not me you see in the phone's reflection. Racist? But why do I look like that guy? Anyways, this is Dell's new Android powered tablet with a 5 inch screen. And it comes with a 5 megapixel camera. There isn't much else leaked about this phone though. HP computers have also made a slate. Why did I just do that? They've worked together with Microsoft and it is suspected to be running Windows 7. Quite impressive. Again, not too much revealed about this product other than some fancy pictures. What can you say? Companies don't like to talk about their slates. A new company to enter the Western mobile phone gossip world would be a Chinese company called Lenovo. Chinese, Chinese! At CES, they introduced the LeFone. LeFone is essentially a touch phone with a customized Android OS, and it combines the functionalities of Android and the iPhone. Pretty cool stuff. Their presentation of the LeFone was quote, contact centric and people centric. I'm quoting John Walton of Joydog, of course. So, video shout out to him. 
Whoops, uh, how did that get in there? Copyright isn't as strict over there, so maybe they'll get away with this one and provide us with a gosh darn good product. Fine, I'll include some Nexus One stuff. The phone hasn't even been out for a week and already it gets disassembled. On camera! Check out iFixit's teardown to see the insides of the Google phone. You should also bookmark this page if you plan on taking apart some Google phones in the future. I have to give another shout out to electricpig.co.uk. Check out their site for a bunch of different galleries featuring booths from various different companies. All from CE. Yes, of course. Uh, okay, time for some theme stuff. This time, this is for themers. Check out our site's blog for the full template and project files from one of our recently released Just Black and Just Light Nokia themes. Just open these files in Nokia's Carbide and you are ready to go. Good luck and have fun theming. This episode of Phonage is brought to you by Basketball Ponage. <laughs> Classic. Well, I hope all you fine folks enjoyed this episode of Phonage. Cause I know I did. Yes, yes, I know we all couldn't go to CES. Aww. <coughs> But throughout this video, hopefully I would have made you feel like you were there for at least two or three seconds. If so, then I've completed my goal and I should feel very proud of myself. So for free mobile themes, ringtones, and wallpapers, check out our main site, yo. This was John from tech7.net and I will see you guys next week. Peace! You gotta do it upside down now because that's the cool way. And you can also go like this to make your fingers run. Do 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 do